Yep, yep, yep. Power is out. Power's out in the neighborhood. Well, I'm talking, but ain't nobody in here yet. I guess I'm talking in case this video stays on YouTube. Huh, baby? You cool? You doing all right? Roscoe? Roscoe doing good? Guess I'm just waiting for some people to get in here so I'm not just talking to myself. We'll just walk around so I start seeing some bodies, some faces. Oh, we got one in here. Lucko doing okay? Lucko chilling? So it's um not too bad. Seventy six in here. It's um. Let me close my watch here. Okay, so this is how hot it is outside. It's one oh six. See that? One oh six outside. So this video is about the solar panels. We're currently on solar right now, you guys. Um, I don't know if anybody here, if you saw my video where I showed the whole install being done. I mean, it's kind of like off topic because I'm car audio, I do car audio, but when it comes to technology, I pretty much figured the solar panels, they fit into a little bit of what we do. It's not really the same, but like lithium batteries and stuff. So I did the whole series about um, not, I don't even know if it was a series, maybe it was one big long video about we did, how we did the solar panels. Uh, we got sun power with battery backup. The power's been out since 8 o'clock on the dot this morning, huh? Since 8 o'clock this morning. And we knew it was going to be out because they, they put out a, um, a message to everybody, a notice. So we knew it was going to be out. Uh, but uh, yeah, it went out today and it's been out. It's, right now it's 2 o'clock. Quiet down. <laughs> it's uh, two o'clock. Uh, ignore that clock behind me that died not that long ago. We haven't put a new battery in it yet, but it's two o'clock. So the power's been out all day. Um, so we got solar panels and battery backup. So the sun is supplying the house and the batteries are staying nice exactly where they should be. Um, I guess they go down 10% because it allows the lithium batteries to not be like so overcharged or something like that. I don't know how they explained it, but uh, we're at 90% and we've been at 90% all day on the batteries and uh, and the sun. Every time I turn something on in here, the sun picks it up and it handles it all. So normally about this time of day, I'm making about almost 13 kW. Um, so we can pretty much supply the whole house. I got the pool pump is on right now out there. Uh, I'll take you guys down there and show you the battery back up here in a second. But we got the pool pump on. We got the TV with the system on. My PC downstairs is on, and my gaming PC. Um, the only thing, the only thing right now that is not on is the AC. Um, I got to get a soft start or something like that for it. I'm supposed to get a soft start. Uh, you guys probably know what that is. I'm not that familiar with it, but it's supposed to like do something with the surge of electricity when that thing turns on. So once I get my soft start, I can have it wired in to where uh, we can have our AC. But it's not hot in here. It's 76. We got fans going. We got internet. Uh, we, we have a well, so we really need to have our uh, water pump working, our, our well pump working, so we could flush toilets. There's no generators running. We're on the backup and the, sun, the solar panels. So uh, I want to say that uh, we spent a lot of money on this solar panel, and sometimes it uh, gets a little irritating with some of the little glitches, but overall I'm pretty happy right now because I don't have no generator. I'll take you guys out there real quick and show you what we got here, out here. Got it be in and out quick not to let none of that hot air it's 106 out here okay so i don't know if you guys can hear the generators out in the in the distance there's generators going on out here they're changing a telephone pole they're changing a, a power pole or something in the neighborhood that's why they knew it was going to be out but i'll show you my panels and then i'll show you the battery backup you can see them those ones i gotta climb up there and clean them they're they're due to get rinsed off. So I cleaned them not that long ago and they're already dirty. So we got panels that go along up there. 
and they go up behind there. You can't really see them. And then I got more over here. I'll take you guys down to the battery bank here in a second. So I'm all excited because I'm live on YouTube when our power should be completely out right now or on a generator. I have a whole house generator too, but that's my backup of the backup. Okay, so you can see we got more panels here. These are sun power and more over there. So we have 42 panels. You can see the rest of those ones. Those ones over there are dirtier. These ones are easier for me to clear, clean. So, hold on a second here. Take you over to the battery bank. Okay, so yeah, the whole house is running off all that shit, man. It's, I'm all excited because, you know, there's, you know, you know, a little over 100 G's worth of stuff here. And uh, I had lots of incentives and I got some money back and there's some tax incentives, but it was still a pretty big chunk of money. And now it's all coming into play. So I don't know if you've ever been excited to have your power go out, but I'm like, yeah, let's see how it performs. All right, so here's my battery backup. There's my whole house generator right there, ready to go in case that ever batteries die. Yep, so this one's got, those lights are blinking. They're kind of acting weird. And I think the front panel was malfunctioning, but they're still working because it's supposed to look like that one. But you can see batteries are at 90%. They're just floating and we're all running off the panels. So these things right here, these batteries, you can see how big they actually are. They're about the size of refrigerators. They're barely smaller than a refrigerator that you would have in your house. Like you could open up this bad boy right here and get, make you a ham sandwich. So yeah, the whole house is running off these. Pretty happy, man. I mean, damn. I mean, I'd have the generator on right now probably, but yeah, that's the backup of the backup. I haven't had to use it since we got the solar put in. So you can see we're all mounted up right here, right over here, underneath the porch. Don't mind my, my country front yard. The yard by the pool is much nicer. We haven't figured out what we're gonna do with this area yet. Just maintaining it's hard enough with the weeds and stuff that I try to grow. I got most of them down, but yeah. So anyways, we'll go back in here. Oh yeah, so the pool pump, there's a pool over there. The pool pump is on. It's all running off solar. So yeah, this is the cool thing. It, the, who knows when it's even gonna come back on, but we're good to go. And if the sun goes out, goes down, and they're still not done yet, uh, we've got about, I don't know, 12 or 13 hours of, of reserve after that. So we'll make it all night, especially if we go in there and just turn the TV on and go to bed with a fan. So you can see my PC and everything is on. So this is all off the sun. I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, turn the ceiling fan on, just chilling. Happy with my investment. Um, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about your situation. If you're paying on it for 20 years or something, it might not be worth it, I don't know. But um, I paid mine off, so mine's all paid for. It might take like eight or nine or maybe even 10 years for it to pay itself back, but um, it's not just about saving money. My electric bill is probably about a hundred bucks a month on average. Like right now in the middle of the summer, my electric bill would be uh, $1,200. <coughs> Excuse me. When we first moved in here, our first electric bill in the summer was $1,200. We couldn't believe it. So uh, yeah, now it's right around a hundred bucks. Um, in the winter time, like it, it goes from 1200 a couple of, uh, for July, June and July and August. 
uh, and then it starts trickling down to about a thousand and then 950 and then probably by the winter time you're talking about like 600 bucks a month and then you start starts warming up again and then bam you're back into the thousands so on average it's like 1300 bucks a year so that's great that it's going to make up for itself and you know maybe it might take 10 years but the fact that when the power goes out we're chilling like the way we are that's where all the that's where the investment to me is so um i mean saving the money on your electric bill for sure because especially with the rates they're going to go up and i'm still going to be making power but um the main thing is, is that when the power goes out and the sun's still up we're just living life um Minus having the AC on, which I'm going to fix with the soft start. So if you guys know anything about soft start, then maybe you can explain it in the comments and I'll take a look at them. I mean, I know a little bit about it. I just can't really explain it because I'm not an AC guy. But something about the surge, when that thing turns on, there's a surge. Um, so the system won't like it unless you do a soft start. So I can have that done and I will have it done. But right now, it's like it's probably 75 down here. It's 76 up there. As long as we don't open the doors, even though it's uh, yeah, it's 106 outside, we're doing fine. I'm pretty happy. I'm about to sit down. I'm about to do some editing or maybe get a little bit of gaming in. I'm not sure. But I uh, just want to go live and show you guys uh, if you saw the installation of our solar. Just want to let you know it's all good. That's my little update. I might do an actual real video about it. I don't know, but um, I never really talked about it since we got it put in. And yeah, average electric bill. $1,300 for the whole year, so 100 bucks a month from, you know, do the math, you know, a lot more, 10 times more than that. So, anyways, all right, I'm out of here. See ya. How do I turn this off? I can never figure it out.